all dressed up, ready to go. Hi, Purpose. Hey. <gasps> Good morning. <laughs> no, nothing. Nada. Zilch. I love you. You're so tired, huh? We're just getting ready to go. We're loading up the cage. We're just using a dog cage because we don't have actual um, chicken carriers. I don't know what that is. We don't have actual chicken carriers, so we're just using a dog cage. Our chicken coops nowhere near ready. We swore we were gonna do it all week, but we had zero light after work and zero motivation. Um, so we're gonna hope we can get her chicken coop set up at least for a temporary while we get things done. Um, once we have the chickens and we go out there, I'll walk you through everything we want to do outside and we will have like a chicken renovation video as well. here to explain what was going on so the family we got the chickens from was nice enough to give us their old chicken coop we like I said we we're not able to get our chicken coop uh, set up so by the time we got the chickens loaded at the house we had to make two trips because of that metal cage as well as the chicken coop just didn't fit in the back of our truck with one load so we made two trips and by the time we got back with the second one with feeding Briley and having to take naps etc it was already getting later at night and we needed to go and pick up some bedding for the chickens and some food, extra food. She did give us some food so we didn't need the food right now, but we wanted to make sure we had extra food. And when you have a six month old, everything takes a little bit longer. So I just wanted to go ahead and explain to you why we just did a temporary fix with them in the metal cage for the, for the one night. We went ahead and moved the chicken coop over for them to live in until we get more chickens which we think will be in the springtime and that's when we will make the larger gate area so they can kind of free range a little bit. So that's why you see us setting it up and then setting it up again. too because by once we had finished setting up we just jokingly said let's see if we have an egg because we knew a chicken went in there and look we did we were so excited for our first egg Ramsey was so excited to show Briley as well She just wanted to put it in her mouth, like every toy she has. Ignore the pumpkin right here. We had a major windstorm after setting up the chickens and the whole top roof, I'll show you really quick. This whole stuff, this is all a temporary fix. There's not really much of a roof underneath. Um, this is a hand-me-down, hand-me-down, hand-me-down chicken coop and she was kind enough to let us have it for the time being. This is our chicken coop that the people before us that lived here left. I hate the blue. <laughs> um, but we need to redo some things. You can see, here's the roofing. Like, it is just rotted out. Um, so we really need to redo that, fix a couple things in here. We want to add a door onto it to close them up at night. This is the current setup for these chickens this is what they were in before coming to our house as you can see they are making 
a mess of things, but you know, we are learning. We did not need to put as much bedding as we needed. We also added this ply board because when you'll see in the, uh, as you saw in the beginning of the video, uh, this is wire and, oh, it got me. Uh, this is wire and they, it was, uh, their food would just go down to the floor and they weren't able to get it and obviously we don't want them to starve. <laughs> This is their chicken coop. You can't really see in here. They were kind enough to already lay some eggs for us, so that means they are very happy at home. No one egg in here and lots of poop. Okay, so let me get back a little so you can see the two coops. We want to do a big um, ordeal to where they can like run around. So originally the plan is was that we were gonna put our coop where this coop is now, and this coop was gonna be for like when we bring chicks outside. However, we started getting into this mound. You can't really tell it's like, it's a pretty decent mound, and we realized that the people before who owned this house before us just had a bunch of old concrete in it, so we've been slowly trying to get rid of this dirt and getting it level, but, after putting the chickens here, we kind of realized we want to have them down, so this slopes down right here. Um, we kind of want to have them down here now. So, the plan is... We're going to make a fencing along here eventually. We will move our chicken coop, which is super heavy, down over here, and then the other chicken coop as well. Up here we're going to have my gardens eventually, but that's in many, many months to come. So down here, this is in the future where our chickens are going to be. But for now, the four chickens that we have right here work just fine. They are very happy. We get at least an, one egg a day, and I'm hoping soon we'll get more. Say hi, YouTube! Black one. So that black one is Molly or Marjorie, and then this brown one over here, this brown one, that's Helen, and this is Henrietta. But I don't know how to tell these two apart. <laughs> so welcome to the farm, girls. If anyone has any tips or tricks or hints or whatever about how to raise chickens or what we're doing wrong, let us know. So that's it for now on the chicken coop guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them in the box below. Also any tips are welcomed. We are new to chickens, so I'm kind of winging it half the time. Google has been my friend. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And don't forget to subscribe so you can see more videos in the future and watch our little farmstead grow. Bye guys.